Finally, Lucas, some good news. Thank you. Please keep a damn bottle out your hand, or should I say some alcohol out your hand? Please, uh, please. Adrian, now nah, I feel sorry for you locked up. However, that crying you doing ain't gonna get you nowhere, sweetheart. You better make one of them offers to trust you. You better do something to get yourself out of there. You know you ain't got no business being in there, and they're thinking you bonnie. You better stop all that crying and tuffle up, sweetheart. Bonnie, I'm just waiting for you to tell on yourself. But at this point, you done done too much foolish stuff. You done said too much foolish stuff. You can't even much get your fake son name right. I'm just waiting on you to just tell on yourself. That's all I'm waiting on to you. Because you talk too much. I ain't never had no good meal like this. It's my be oatmeal. In okay, Bonnie. Keep it up. Go ahead and tell on yourself. I think Hedden and I already kicked her bucket. I'm waiting on you to kick yours now. Now, Andre, I want you to do one thing for me. Find a fuck for me and your feelings right now. That get my that um Jesus these names. Had it calling you in company. Please find a fuck. Please find the one. You too arrogant, you too cocky, and you ain't no good. Find the fuck, Andre, for you and your fellas getting embarrassed. You embarrassed Kate and Roman in the same breath in front of everybody. You think you didn't? You, did you not see this coming, or was you just that delusion of thinking that Marlena was going to help you? Which one was it? You didn't see how she was questioning you and grilling you. That didn't give you no hint that she may or may not help you. But yet you're going to stay there and still let her evaluate you that she's going to give you a good recommendation. You seriously thought Marlena was going to give you some. Andre, all I got to say to you is, is this. Okay, what are your plan work that she did help you? In some mysterious way, you end up calling yourself want to run the company. What about Chad? What about Abigail? You know they're going to come before you, right? Because they're more trustworthy, right? Who in their right mind on that board going to trust you? You ain't got enough money to pay them off. So how do you plan on getting in the board good grace to even come CEO? You can't must come CEO of your own mind. So I like to see you call yourself come CEO of a whole company. You barely in the Demera Mansion, but yet you want to be CEO. Just cause you're a Demera under don't mean your entire dads get to be that get to play CEO too. You got to earn that. You just don't run yourself up to the top and push everybody else down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Chad got some choice words for you. Abigail going to offend you. I'm just going to ignore her because I don't want none of her today. I don't want none of her. She don't want none of me today. Oh, look. Look who decided to finally move the... Oh, well, I said it wrong. Look who finally decided to move their ass and start taking these concerns and start doing something about it. Good job, Paul. I'm finally glad you decided to move it and stop talking and complaining about it. You finally went to somebody else. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. I ain't gonna expect Brady to, to care enough. He too damn insecure about his own feelings to help anybody right or not now. Better yet, Nicole. So, Paul, you are a lonely hog. And that's a shame. Out of all part of all John's children, you the only one that give a blue fuck, red fuck, orange fuck, yellow fuck. Enough to care that my head and story ain't sounding right and I'm concerned about my dad because my dad ain't heard the good news yet. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Oh my gosh, honey, I love you. Mm -hmm. You want to raise your hand up at another woman, I would, you, Andre. She got you good. She's sending you off to the crazy house. You go, oh, 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 shock therapy, please, Marlene. I mean, had it. Shock therapy, shock therapy. He needs some. He needs a couple of more shots. He needs about three or four of them shots. Give him some, Marlene. I mean, had it. Oh, Jesus, Andre. You got played. I mean, played. She played you like a violin. 
She ain't play one song on you. She played multiple songs on that ass. How does it feel, Andre, when the shoe is on the other foot? That's all I want to know. Oh! He seriously thought Kate was going to hear. Oh, Andre, you just crazy. You right crazy, Salem Slasher. That was a damn lie, but we going to run with that one today. You really, 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 really thought Kate was going to help you after you just tried to make her seem like she was some hook with well, We all know the answer to that. Well, you tried to make her seem like she... How can I put this nicely? You try to make Kurt seem like she was some tramp on the screen and because having an affair on you with y'all marriage wasn't real from the beginning. You try to expose this one my hard wrong of a little kiss that Roma initiated and now you expect her to help you. Andre, you got to learn to use that noodle a little bit more harder than you using it, buddy. That ain't working. After you tried to embarrass her and Roman, and you ripped us, you're going to turn around and say, oh, yeah, he tried to embarrass me, but he didn't do such a good job. Let me go ahead and help him by going to the crazy house. Nah. You better hope Andre, I mean, you better hope Chad get your, well, Chad ain't going to get your ass off. Abigail will come get you. You know that's your new best friend. She'll come and pick you up. She'll talk for you. Could have worked good word in for you. Get you on now. That's about the only one that care about this, Abigail. Oh, my gosh. T-Ball's in her wig bag. <laughs> I don't miss her ass at all. Oh, my gosh. They really brung her back. <laughs> I'm not going to say a word. Okay, Chloe, if you feel sorry for age, I mean, Angelica, why don't you go to her funeral then? You might be the only person now where Jennifer do have a heart, Abigail do. They might be the only ones that, but you can go and join them. Girl, ain't nobody going to tell you no to not going to her funeral if she had one. Go ahead. I'm low kiss. We not going to talk about how drunk you was that night to confuse two different women in one room. I'm just going to leave that alone. That's just a trap for me to walk in, and I'm not fit to walk into that one. Because you know I got plenty of jokes when it comes to you, Lucas. Bonnie, just like she said, what the hell was Angelica doing in your room with her clothes half naked in your bed? I have the same questions, too. Don't get smart now, because Megan going to be the one that exposed you now. Uh, they're getting smart. You do have a motive. You and Angelica don't like each other. Hell, y'all probably didn't fuck once upon a time before back in the day. So, y'all got history. That's why the police coming looking at you. Don't act brand new. And I'm Bonnie. Your Lord, I'm so... I can't wait to this double shit over. You see how I confuse them all the darn time. Short, sweet, and simple had it. Come back in hand and form, you might have a chance. Ask Marlena, you got no chance in here. All y'all got is history and some kids. Come back as Hattie, he might holler at you. Until then, yeah, you ain't ready for that cheese. I'm just saying. You never know when a heart attack coming. Now, you can look at Angelica. She was in perfect shape. Yeah, I ain't seen no heart attack coming. And all of a sudden, she... Tussling at some arm um, at a book, and all of a sudden she gets stiff and fall out. Wow. Heart attacks ain't nothing to be played with, and this fool up here eating all the bottom. you going to be next, Miss Lockhart. Ooh. Hattie, you done fucked up for real now. Andre seeing his eyes, Andre see, hey, Andre see Marlena. Yeah, now nah, he finna put two and two together and realize you didn't switch bodies with Marlene. Wrong place, wrong time, had it. Hi, but we enjoyed that. You just made a boo boo for real now. You exposed and don't even much know it. Oh, so forget about Kane and Roman feelings. You the one feel embarrassed because you got carried away. Andre, I cannot and we're not with you. You is so entitled. You worried about your feelings, fuck Kate and Romans? Really? You just try to expose them for having an affair over a kiss. 
But yeah, true the one in Bay Area. Why? Come to hear two people talking your way to the crazy house. Well, I guess that is kind of embarrassing. However, you deserve it after that little stunt you pulled. And let that be a lesson to you, Andre. You don't go around fucking up people's lives just because you can. Thinking you some player. Thinking you going to play with that girl, that lady heart like that. And she going to come at the back too bag. I don't feel sorry for you how you got that woman arrested and sitting all that time in jail over something like you. So her revenge was sweeter than your relationship was sweeter than what you did to her. And I don't got nothing for you, Andre. I'm sorry. After that and what you did to Hattie, now you done made that woman go rogue. You getting what you deserve. I hope she offer you some sweet shop therapy. Let's see you get your brain together. Shingler, you know like I know, you better go ahead and do it. Maybe you can afford you a better wig on your head. I'm just saying, that'll be good in your favor. You can get out looking kind of rich with you some new weaves in a nice car. You better go ahead, Sheila. Don't play around. She means she dead ass with you. Because she is a complete person, a different person, Paul. I'm glad somebody cares now, finally. Andre, you can scream, holler, throw a tantrum or whatever. I don't think you're going to get out that easily. At least I don't want you to get out that easily. You deserve what's coming to you. Maybe you'll sit your entitled ass down somewhere. Woohoo! Hope for the goal. She finally figured it out. It took her long enough, but she finally figured it out. Thank you. Paul, well, Paul wouldn't know anything about Hattie, so I wouldn't expect him. Rami, you should have known better, but it took hope to find out who it was. A duh. Yeah, that'd be a good idea to get the hell out of town, Hattie. You better go and you better go hide in the gates of hell somewhere, because they coming for you. Oh, she thought she had a friend. You thought you was going out of town that fast. Mm-hmm. Hope say going somewhere, handy. Yeah, you fit to go back where you belong, you crazy witch. Bonnie, you done lost your everlasting mind thinking Victor gonna cheat on Maggie and go out with you. It's time for you to get out of town now, Bonnie. Now you just making an ass out of yourself on the stake of an... Never mind. Had to get out of town. I mean, Bonnie, get out of town while you got a chance. I know that's right, Sheila and her wig. Send that part on to um just before we can get um Adrian out of there. She don't need to be in there. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't get the like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day and have a good weekend. Monday episode might be a little delayed, maybe 2 30, 3 o'clock, maybe 2 o'clock, depending on what daily motion upload the video. Cause Hurricane Irma coming through and she ain't going to be bad in my neighborhood or my part of Florida, but the news going to have my TV, so I have to look at it on daily motion. Anyways, though, y'all, they wanted y'all to know that before Monday coming, y'all be looking for it. So it might be about 2, 2 30, it might 3 o'clock, depending on when daily motion get done playing with it. So they normally be quick with the episode. Sometimes they take them a day in the month just to upload them. All right, y'all. Bye.